Hello YouTube. It's definitely been quite a while. Uh, uh, there wasn't that much work done since June, since the last episode. Uh, we had some um, some family emergencies that happened, so it's only the last few weeks that you know, we actually uh, picked up the pace again and started getting some work done in the room. So I'm just going to do a quick update on the room as we stand now and what's next in the plan. Alrighty. So here we have the room as it stands. All of the speakers are in place and they're anchored. Next up we're doing ceiling cloud. The ceiling is going to hold lights and we're going to actually finally finish this baffle wall. The speakers are in but I'm hiding those from camera until they're actually you know, completely functional. Uh, although the wires are connected, <clears throat> they're not connected to the amps yet. Uh, I got the floors done in uh in the equipment room, but you can't really see it. And I have a rack on the way, so once the rack comes, I'll load the amps in there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take these babies for a test drive. So with my rear speakers, uh, I was presented with a particular challenge here. And uh, so I have to access a cl storage closet behind the theater and I didn't have a way to do it while having the speaker in the location that it needed to be in per my uh, acoustic plan. So <clears throat> what we ended up doing is creating a hinged speech speaker mount. So if you take a look here, the basic structure follows the same uh, cross piece down there. Oh, there's none up there because it's, it's so high. A cross piece down there, another piece across there to keep it stable. You'll see, you'll notice it follows the same exact architecture as this. a cross piece and then a cross piece down there to keep it stable. And then up top, no top piece because there it's going to be anchored. It's anchored into the soffit. Although here it's not anchored into the soffit. It's anchored into a larger construct. So we have a speaker stand within a speaker stand, if you will. So... <clears throat> This was built, you have the hinges on this side, and it just swings open. And I can access the closet back there, the storage closet. <clears throat> I say storage closets, probably some more storage room. So here is the architecture of the speaker stand. I figure you guys have seen me uh, screw and drill and hammer enough in these videos, so I didn't chronicle the actual construction of this. I just want to show you how it was constructed. So, okay, we have the basic speaker stand here. There's a cross piece up here. Well, actually, it's actually pretty thick. <clears throat> if you look up here, it's three two by fours thick. It stops here so that there's space for the speaker to go in. This keeps the speaker from falling backwards and then it picks up on the other side. <clears throat> and then this is just so that it It'll, keep, it'll get it across the space provided by the doorway to the other side of the wall. Now, right in front of here is going to be a panel. So it's not going to be visible at all. When I need to access there, I'll pull the panel off. The panel is going to be attached by Velcro. I'll pull it off, move to the side, swing the speaker open, and we're good to go. You wonder what these strips are. It's actually an ingenious design by uh, Jeff Parkinson. Now, what we have here is actually a 2x4 and then perpendicular to another 2x4. And then we have, uh, I think I want to say this is MDF, but I could be wrong because I'm not a wood connoisseur. Some type of wood here. And then on top of the wood, we place strips of aluminum, this, these flat aluminum sheets. And then on the flat aluminum sheets, we sanded them. If you see, there's a uniform sparkly um, <clears throat> component to them. It, it was sanded with a random orbital sander to get that uniform diffuse look. Uh, we found that with the aluminum, if you didn't sand it, 
then you could see where the individual strip lights were. This isn't a prototype, which I'm going to show you in a second. You could actually see where the individual individual strip lights were. So the sanded to give this uniform look, it diffuses the light so you can't see where each each uh, LED light and the strip light is. All right, so these strips are here because the strips are going to go exactly against these. It's going to go on the inside. So the light will be coming from either side and then there will be a split in the middle. The fabric panel is going to go over this and one piece is going to come over here and the other piece is going to come over right here. There's going to be a slit where you, you only see the light. So let's take a look at the prototype. Alright, here we have the prototype for the light strips that are going to be in the theater room. They're going to go around the theater room. So you see here the same aluminum pieces that I was referring to. So we have the aluminum that's attached to a piece of wood behind here. And then you have these strips on either side of the aluminum with strip lights attached to it. Now, these represent fabric panels in the prototype. So there, I'm trying to represent the overlap that will exist. So there's a panel there. And then let's have a panel come over there. And again, this is just for prototype purposes, but this explains what we're doing. So then, when I turn it on, what you get is a is a glow. It is a very nice glow. Let me cover the rest of this rope so you can take a look. So you get a glow, and as a matter of fact. Let me go ahead and hit the lights real quick so you can get an idea of what it's going to look like when all is said and done. <clears throat> okay, so this is what it's going to look like, and uh, you know, as you know, colors will change. You know, there are, there are a lot of possibilities here, but the most important fact is that I can I have complete control over it. You know, that's that's the most important thing. So this these strips will be in the theater, essentially all all, all along the theater, um, for uh, vertically. And I'm gonna hit the light again, and then I'll show you the distribution of these in the theater. <clears throat> Excuse the mess. I'm building a theater. <laughs> okay, so. As you see, everywhere that you see these strips, that's where there's going to be vertical, the, the vertical light strip. So the panels will overlap here, vertical strip, light strip, light strip, and so on and so forth around the room. Now you'll notice that the spacing isn't protected particularly equal. This is actually, a, um, uh, we're just, we're trying something new here. We've seen the spacing being exactly equal before, so I actually came up with a formula for spacing where the space between the strips increases over time. This is this is to uh, modify the depth perception, so it changes the perception of the depth in the room. You see here, you don't think, oh, okay, oh, well, there's a discrepancy there because of where you are, but as you get closer, you can see that there is a discrepancy. It's just it's it's all about perspective. That's, that's, that, that really is what it's all about. It's all about perspective. All right, so that's where we are right now. Next up, we have the baffle wall. And so, let me go ahead and come around again. All right, so where are we right now? This is a product of about uh, three weeks of work. And um, next up, I'm going to finish this baffle wall. I'll put the drywall, green glue, MDF, green glue, drywall, sandwich. So the three layers with two layers of green glue in between. Then I'm going to build ceiling clouds. The ceiling clouds are going to hold uh, ca uh, light, can lights, recessed lighting, and they're also going to hold the Atmos speakers. Now, if, you, if you're familiar with this build, you, uh, you, can, you can see in the background the theater is wired for Atmos at the moment. There's going to be six, so I'm less concerned with um, the coax dispersion per se because this is not a four 
ceiling speaker setup. This is a six speaker setup. So um, some, you know, I'll use DSP to deal with whatever localization is left after I have the, the six speakers in the ceiling. But uh, so and then after that, we're gonna go over and do the carpet. The carpet is already bought and paid for. We're getting ready to install it. We just want to get the ceiling cloud done before we put the carpet down. Alrighty, so I'll see you soon.